a lot of companies in Jamaica aren't doing well by and large because you have a lot of tyrants as employers. You have a lot of people who are misfits. Really, they should not have been in the posts of employer. They really should not be leading people. And uh, we don't only see this in what in, in our entire governance in parliament where we see ineffective and inefficient leadership and what ends up happening is when a man or a woman isn't ready have you ever cooked some rice especially white rice and it is not properly cooked it looks ready but it really isn't ready some you know there are sections in it when you dig it up that's tough and when you eat it it's the worst tasting food ever it's probably worse than before the rice was cooked you know, in a sense, although it would be harder. It's similar in terms of leadership. When you have somebody who isn't right, ripe, or really is not the leader for a particular sector, sector of people, you're going to have war. That You're going to have decadence. You're going to have crazy. You're going to have upheaval. You're going to have mayhem. And you're going to have a society of people not thriving, not prospering, not doing well. It's the same in companies. Companies by and large in Jamaica are not productive because of inefficient and ineffective leaders. Leaders who are in, the, in their own feelings. Leaders who probably have no clue how to lead. And what they do instead of learning how to lead, they look on like Saul and envy David. They look on like Saul and envy David instead of saying, you know what? I like the characteristics of David. I may not be strong in this area. David is. I'm going to allow David to lead this particular section because it would make me look good. That's what Henry Ford did. Henry Ford, Henry Ford barely had any, um, had a solid education, but he was wise here. He said, all right, I just need to have some solid people around me in their area of strength. I'm going to let them lead the course, lead the charge. I oversee, see what is happening. Get, you know, some advisors. And and he did that. And that is why his company to this day is doing well. Many, many leaders, employers in this country have failed, have not adhered to the components of effective and efficient leadership simply because they just dabble in their own feelings and their sense of being is not good their character is not good but we'll be on to them guys follow me on tiktok subscribe to my youtube channel share this message